Hi everyone, something a little different today. So what we're going to be doing is analysing the goal that Leicester City scored against Everton on Wednesday. reason I'm doing this, I believe Jordan Pickford's been unfairly treated across the media and social media for this goal. And I do believe it's a lot harder than many may have initially thought it was. So what we'll do is we'll see the goal, we'll break it down. We'll look at all the key factors and see if there's anywhere where the goal could have been prevented. So, the first thing that we'll notice here is, as Thielman strikes ball, there are five players directly between Pickford and the ball, which obviously impacts on his vision, but he's set well, he's set low, he's set deep. Another thing we've got to think about as well is setting deep, he's given himself more reaction time, but he's still only got 10 yards between himself and the last person that's between himself and the ball. Which again, isn't a great deal of time. It's less distance than a goalkeeper would have to, to make a penalty save. And another little cue here is, you'll see other players directly moving towards Thielmans, whereas Perez starts to move off on his own. So that got us thinking, after a little bit of viewing, has he done something that's affected the flight of the ball? So what we'll see as we go through it again, this view's great, just there, uh, Perez affects the flight of the ball. So now, what you see is, not only does Pickford have to deal with the original shot, now he's got to also deal with the deflection. So we'll slow it right down and there. So what this actually does is this impacts not only on his time, but also how he makes a save. So what we'll look at first of all is from the striker's point of view, there you go, Pickford's got his eyes on the ball. He can see it, he's starting to prepare to make the save. Now, as he goes to make the save, normally he would be attacking the ball. So his arm would be out in front of the body. He would be able to control it a lot better. The arm in front acts as a shock absorber. Because now he has to deal with the deflection, the arm has to come behind the body. Because he's got milliseconds to react, he needs to get his hand there quickly. Um, and he can no longer attack it because he's got to adjust. What this does is it takes away that shock absorber. It takes away his ability to be able to control the ball far and wide. And it ultimately leads to the goal being conceded and the, the ball ended up hitting the post and ending up in the back of the net. So what we're going to see here is two areas where I believe the even the shot could have been prevented. So the first thing, the cross comes in. Pickford's gone with his backhand, body's open, and ultimately what he's done here is he's pushed the ball back into Evans. Should he go with his left hand, which is his front hand, he can control the ball a little bit better. He can force the ball far and wide away from any Leicester players. Gives himself an opportunity to reorganise and his defender has an opportunity to reorganise. That doesn't happen. Ball drops to Evans. Plays it back to Barnes. Right footer on the left. Tom Davies, as he goes to engage him, what he should be looking to do is force him down the line. Away from any kind of support and away from his favourite foot and away from goal. What he actually does is he cuts off the line. He opens up the penalty area. He opens up the centre of the field. Barnes at this at this point could shoot. He doesn't. He plays it into Thielmans, who ultimately scores a goal. So, what I want to say here is don't be overly critical of goalkeepers. Analyse. Have a look. Um, I hope that was useful to you. If you did find it useful, please give it a like. Find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Thank you.